For this Super Kids show to work, we need different ingredients. Uh, I know for sure we have a lot of great questions, but we need a lot of super uh, participants. Where can I find such participants? You know, we really need a lot of enthusiastic, hardworking students, and where would I find those kind of students? Well, I don't know. Perhaps some will show up that can help me. Anyway, please welcome my friends. Where are you guys from? Okay, let's get the show started, guys. A school filled with children who are wise, kind-hearted, and courageous. Let us introduce to you Soul Junction Elementary School. Everywhere around the school, you will see only the best facilities that nurture our dreams and hopes. On the green lawn, we can run around as much as we want without having to worry about dark or dust. No wonder we are all so healthy. We are proud of the hallways that are decorated with our artwork and we learned to set our goals high in the dream stadium that showed the great people of Korea. There is one more thing that is very special at our school. It's the Jungjun Useful Interesting Creative English Lab. It's just like being in an English-speaking country. We have to go through immigration before going to various theme zones, such as stores and banks. We learn to speak English naturally and it's great fun. We also have heritage teachers so that we become confident at speaking English. Onjena 장춘 가족 모두 어린이 또 선생님 그리고 학부모 모두 한 마음이 되어서 힘껏 응원하겠습니다. Go for it. As you can see, the first team is lined up. What category they will get, we don't know. But we do know in 60 seconds, they will try to guess as many correct answers as possible. Possible maximum 12 points. It's been a long time since we had a perfect score. Let's see if we get one today. Let's also see what our categories are. Um, I've got weather, bathroom, drinks, kitchen, tools, warm and hot. Don't put them together. <laughs> okay, now these guys are going to choose a letter connected to a category. Are you ready to choose a letter? Yes. Okay, let's see the letters. What's your choice? C. C. Drinks. Do you have a favorite drink? Yeah. What? Water. Water. Okay. <laughs> so you ready? Yes. All right, let's go to water. Here we go. Drinks. You add water and herbs in this to make a hot drink. Oh. Piss. This drink is made Coffee. from grapes. Piss. 
the white liquid that comes from cows. A milk. A brown powder that is used to make hot chocolate. Piss. Brazil produces this more than any other country. Piss. Seventy percent of our body is made of this. Piss. A place to have coffee and light snacks. Piss. A thick liquid that is made by adding bacteria to milk. Piss. You use this thin tube to drink liquids. Piss. Rosemary and jasmine are kinds of this. Piss. You have this with milk. Oh. Piss. You use this to stir a hot drink. Piss. You add water and herbs in this to make a hot drink. Okay. Um, not easy. Not easy because I think you guys know a lot of drinks, but the hints sometimes that come out in ways you don't expect. Didn't come out my favorite drink is. Water, it came out 70% of our bodies made up of water. Okay, well, uh, definitely a bit cold. They got one point. Let's have another team come on out. First team, a bit cold. Didn't get a lot of points. Second team, hopefully a little warmer. We'll find out. Are you warmer? Yes, please. Okay, let's see <coughs> what letters there are. Yeah, oh. Uh F. You want F? Yes. Okay, so the category is warm and hot. What hot thing comes to mind? When you hear hot, what comes to mind? Mm, what do you think summer. of? Summer. Summer. Okay, let's see if that comes out. Here we go. You bake cake and bread in this. Oh, pizza. You use this to remove wrinkles from clothes. Pass. The hottest season of the year. Pass. You have to see a doctor when you have this. The hottest continent on Earth. Dinner. You dry your hair with it. Pass. Outer clothing worn in winter. Oh, gloves. Hot liquid rock comes out of here. Pass. You can sit around it when you go on camp. You wear them on your hands when cold. Gloves. This makes your house warm. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, I this is where you can see an oasis and sand. Pass. You bake cake and bread in this. Okay. Well, um. It was warm and hot, but these guys are still cold. Got a total of one. Let's have another team come on out. Two teams down, two to go. Hopefully they're a little bit warmer. Okay, let's see what uh, letter they choose. You ready? Yeah. Okay, show us the letters, please. A, B, D, and E. A. A it is. Weather, okay. Do you have a favorite kind of weather? Yeah. Which fall. is? Fall. Okay. Favorite kind of season, fall weather. Okay, I like it. Let's go to weather. You use this to cool yourself in the summer. Piss. This white stuff falls from the sky in the winter. Cloud. It's colorful and you can see it after rain. You wear this around your neck for warmth. Piss. White fluffy things that float in the sky. Piss. After lightning, there is a big sound. Piss. This comes with a lot of rain and strong winds. Piss. The sun turns red in the evening. Sunset. This is lower than clouds and looks like smoke. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Season. This can keep you dry when it rains. <laughs> this blows in from China in the spring. Oh! Okay. All right. Well, a little better, actually. Better than the... Well, they, they tied the first two teams. One plus one, they got a total of two. Twice as good. 
excellent job. Last team, come on out. <laughs> Woo! Woo! One more team to go. Let's see what they choose. Okay, we're gonna have some letters right here. Get ready. Here are the letters. B, D, and E. E. E's the choice. Tools. Get ready, not easy. Let's go to tools. You use this for hitting nails. Pass. You use this to draw a circle. Compass. You use this to cut wood. This is used for measuring distances. You use these for eating noodles. Chopstick. This tool is used for making holes. Uh, pass. You need this to eat soup. Spoon. You can cut steak with this. Uh, knife. Connect sheets of paper together with this. Stapler. You use this to comb your hair. Brush. You use this to clean the floor or carpet. Piss. Ah. Uh. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now that's a little warmer. That's a little better. That's what I'm talking about. That is six points. Count them and go to the next round. Let's go. Young folks were told to study in advance about someone very, very famous in the musical world. <coughs> Who was that person? Are they ready to answer some questions? Well, we'll find out about the questions very soon, but let's find out who that famous musical person is right now. <laughs> In the 35 years of his life, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart wrote so much great music. Although his life was short, his music will live on forever. Let's learn more about the genius composer, Mozart. Oh, oh! I used to be part of the Wolfgang and we were scary. Okay, let's have the first two come on out. <laughs> Number one, can you play an instrument? Piano, violin, anything? Mm. Do you like music? No. You don't like music. How about you, number 11? Do you like music? No. Do you like singing? No. I see. Well, hopefully answering questions about Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is not a problem. Here's the first question. In which city was Mozart born? Yes, number one. Austria, Salzburg. All right, Salzburg, good job. Salzburg's right. Okay, let's have two more. Come on out. Hi, number two. Do you have a favorite class? Mm, yes. What is it? Science. Science, okay. How about you, number 12? Do you have a favorite class? Yes. Which is? Math. Math, science and math, okay. Here's your question. Two months before Mozart died, he performed this opera he wrote in German. The opera was set in ancient Egypt and it was a great success that it was played 100 times. What was it called? Yes, number two. Flute. That's part of it. That's part of it. So it's the something flute. Yes, number 12. Magic flute. 
Yeah, the magic flute! Woo! Very good. Excellent. Well, let's have two individuals magically come on up. After Mozart performed in front of Francis I and Marie Theresa at six years old, he slipped from a staircase and met this person. Later, she got married to Louis XVI. Who was she? Yes, number 13. Marie Antoinette. Yeah. You got it. Where was it? Number four. Italia. Bingo! Bazunga Bunga Waka. Italy. Yes, number five. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Amadeus is answer. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What was it? Oh, yes, Simpani. number 16. Simpani. Correct. Very good. Symphony. A. Beethoven. B. Schubert. C. Maria Teresa. D. J.S. Bach. Number 17. A C. You got it. Fantastic. And it was such a great success that the emperor limited the number of encores to be called out. What was the name of this opera? Yes, number eight. Mario Figaro. You got it. Yeah. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Oh, yes, the marriage of Figaro. Let's have two more. Please come on out. All right, number nine. What do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I like mm, take a nap. To take a nap. Why not? Is your nickname the hibernating bear? No. Okay, number 19. You got a lot of free time. What would you like to do? Me too. Taking naps? Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to take a nap while you solve this question. After Mozart married Constanze, they did this together to overcome the cold. What was it? Number nine. Dance. Yeah! Dancing! Next two, the final two, come on out. All right, guys. You are the final two. So we've moved from 10, or I'm sorry, sorry, from 20 going down to 10. You're the final two. All right, number 10, um, wanna ask you, do you have a hobby? Uh, yeah. What is it? Listen to the music. Listening to music, excellent. Did you ever dance? No. Uh-huh. Here is a question for you. Good luck. This opera was first performed in Prague on October 29, 1787, and was a great success. It was about a Spanish nobleman who was a ladies' man. What was this opera called? Number 10. Don Giovanni. Yeah, Don Giovanni! Very, very good. Well, so we did it. We went from 20 to 10. That is great. But now, we're going to give a chance to the 30 who didn't move on for four of them to come back and join the 10. Let's see who those four are going to be. Help!
The 30 of you will be given a series of questions. Those who have the most amount of correct answers, four of you will move on and join the other 10. I'll be delivering the questions. I don't know. Someone please help me, help me, help me! Yes, I will help you, help you, help you, Isaac. Okay, so I am going to help you by reading some of the questions. And this question is about mm, fairy tales. And, you know, I think it is a good idea to read a lot of books because then you get smart by reading lots of books. Well, listen carefully. In the story, Three Little Pigs, the first pig made the house of straw, and the second pig made the house of sticks. What did the last pig make his house with? Remember that story, The Three Little Pigs? The wolf comes, tries to get him. The first pig makes a house out of straw. The wolf blows and it falls down. Second pig makes a house of sticks. And of course, the wolf comes and blows it down. So the two run to the third one who has made a strong house made out of blank. Five, four, three, two, one. Raise your boards, please. We want one answer. That answer is brick, bricks. You want bricks? Okay, this next question is a math question. So while you're listening to me, you might want to write some notes down. Okay. When Isaac opened his piggy bank, he had five 1,001 bills, nine 501 coins, and five 10 one coins. How much did Isaac save in total? I put a lot of money in my piggy bank. And when I broke it, opened it up, I had five 1,001 bills, nine 501 coins, and five ten one coins. How much did I have in total? Five, four, three, two, one. What you got? Raise the board. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The correct total is nine five five zero nine thousand five hundred and fifty. Nine five five zero. All right, this question has something to do about, you know, whenever you have free time, what would you like to do? It seems like Isaac likes to paint on its free time. Well, let's listen. Isaac was painting, and by mistake, he mixed white into the color made with red, blue, and yellow. What color did he see on his palette? I was painting, and I mixed some colors. So the colors are red, blue, yellow, and white. Red, blue, yellow, and white equals what? We want a color. It's gonna be green. What's it gonna be? We want a, the name of a color. Five, four, three, two, one. Raise it, raise it, raise it. The correct answer is? Gray! Gray is correct. Yeah, we did it. We got four to join the other ten. Thank you very much, helper. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, actually. And I wish the best to all the winners, and I wish you the best of luck. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I was expecting you to dance, but maybe next time. 
Okay, guys, are you happy you're going to join the other 10? Yes? A little bit happy. No, you're worried? Well, let's find out uh, if we'll have a happy or worried group in the next round. Let's go! You, 14, represent the best. Not yet the best of the best. No, we need to get to those five through this process in this stage. But so far, you guys are outstanding. Now it's time to stand out more. You'll be given questions. Each question has four hints. Those hints together create an image, create an answer that you must guess. If you guess correctly, you move on to the best of the best one of the five spots. If you answer very quickly, that's fine. Sometimes you get it. The image pops into your brain, you get it, not a problem. Sometimes you press too quickly and you have to wait until everybody else has a chance. All right, good luck. Here's our first question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Sausage. Car. Goethe. The Rhine. Number 13 has pressed it down first. We'll get the mic to you. Your answer is? Germany. Uh-huh. Yeah. Excellent job. Representative food, sausage. Great in engineering, cars, Goethe, of course, and the Rhine, the Rhine River. Okay, let's have one more question flow your way. What do the following words have in common? Walking, lollipop, drum, Ice hockey. Okay, it looks like 26 has pressed it down. Your answer is? Stick. Stick. All right. Very good. Very good. Good job. Two spots filled. Of course, if you go walking, you might use a stick, walking stick, lollipop with a stick. Drum stick, drumstick, and ice hockey. Kind of a large stick, but that works too. Okay, next question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Boston. Millstone. Protein. Jack. Yes, number nine. Your answer is? Bean. Yeah, bean is correct. Very good. Up there with his buddies, Boston known as Bean Town. Of course, Jack and the Beanstalk is a very famous story. We have uh, three spots filled, two to go. Next question. What has something to do with the following words? Snow White. Narcissus. Glass. Makeup. Looks like eight has it pressed down first. Your answer? Princess. Nope. Next person, if you have a guess. Whoa. Master of Taekwondo smashing it down there. Your answer? Mirror. Yeah. Mirror. Mirror. 
obviously happy from uh, Snow White. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? <laughs> Not me. Um, glass, of course, and makeup. Put on the makeup, check out the mirror. Usually when I have to see if my hair is brushed straight, I use a mirror to see if it's... Ch I can't quite get the speed down to see if... Okay, next question. What do the following words have in common? Dandelion. Sailing boat. Kite. Tornado. All right. It looks like number 40 has pressed down first. Let's give him the mic. Your answer is? Wind. Yes, that's correct! <laughs> Got that dandelion. <sighs> Blows away in the wind. Of course, sailing boat's not going to move without the wind. The kite flies in the wind, the tornado. Some serious wind. Well, you guys did a seriously good job. We have the best of the best so far. The high five right there and you and I will join them in the next round. The best of the best, the cream of the crop, are standing here on stage with me. They happen to be five gentlemen. We have had five ladies, we've had mixed. It doesn't matter, anything can happen. But what I do know is that we will soon have one school champion. Whether the champion will become a super kid today, I hope so. We don't know. So much is random. Well, let me tell you what I do know as well. We have nine questions. 10, 20, and 30 point questions. Obviously, the 10 point questions are a little bit easier. 30 point, more of a challenge. And these guys will have a chance they can use at any point. Usually, they don't choose the 10 point to double up on, but the 30 to make 60 points. That's exciting. 60 points, that can change, well, the outcome of the game very easily. And often it does. Look forward to the use of the chance. Would you like to meet our cream of the crop? Check them out. Five very capable individuals ready to attack. Okay, let's check out the board. Familiar categories. There's uh, words and super Korea, patterns, numbers. Let's start with a 10 point question. Let's go with history. Born on May 12, 1820, this person volunteered as a nurse in the Crimean War in 1854 and took care of many wounded soldiers. She was known as the Lady with the Lamp and helped with the start of the International Committee of the Red Cross. Who was she? Number nine. Nightingale. Yes, you are correct. Florence Nightingale, very good. Now, if I'm not mistaken, number nine, we met before and I asked you what your hobby was, and you said sleeping. So when you sleep, how long a period of time do you sleep? Uh, I sleep in two, two, four, three hours. Two or three hours. Obviously, uh, the sleep helps you grow. You're one of the tallest here, and you're very bright as well. Okay, very good job. Please don't fall asleep on us. I hope you're rested. Yeah. And choose a category. Numbers. Numbers. 
going to go to a 30 point question. Remember, at any point, you can press your buzzer down, use your chance. At any point. Anyone go for it? Then let's go for 30 point numbers. Isaac was running in a marathon race, and the following clock shows the start of the marathon. The winner came in after 2 hours, 8 minutes, and 20 seconds. What time did the winner reach the finish line? Okay, he's running in a race. Whoa, number 13. Oh, uh, 11. 33. 11.33, is that correct? Bingo! <laughs> Give the man 30 points. That's a big one. We have three big ones, and that was one of them. Very good job, number 13. So let me ask, what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, reading book. And do you have a favorite book or a favorite series? Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, okay. Well, you did your research. You did very well there, and you can choose a category. Uh, city. City, going back to the 10 point questions. City. Look at the relation between the following words, then figure out what word should go in the blank. London is to Buckingham Palace as blank is to the Opera House. Number 13. Sydney. Yes. That's correct. Um, Chung Bean, have you seen the Opera House? Yes. Have you actually been there or did I'm you see pictures? Picture. Pictures, okay. Now most big cities, they have an Opera House, but that is the Opera House, and uh, yes it is in Sydney. Very good job. Still in the lead. Right now, 140. And your choice again. Super Korea. Super Korea going to our first 20 point question. Here's Super Korea. Hey kids, did you know that there was a royal palace for the king outside of Seoul? Well, it's Suwon, Hangung, and that's where we are going this week. Just follow me, and I'll take you to all the corners of the palace. Hwazong Hengung was built according to King Chongjo's order, and it is the biggest and the most important palace, second only to the royal palace in Seoul. So, King Chongjo visited it often and had many celebrations and events here. He liked this palace, Hwazong Hengung, very much. The biggest event that was held here was this 60th birthday party King Jungjo held for his mother. The preparation for the party took a whole year. At Bongsudang, you can see the models of the lavish party that took place here. Everywhere around the palace, you can see King Jungjo's influence. The tablet at Changnakdang was made wishing for his mother's good health and long life. And this cozy place is Noredang. It had been built for King Jongjo to stay at after he stepped down from the throne. It was great looking around Hwazong Hengung, wasn't it? Then, let's listen to the question. King Jongjo made a royal library where scholars like Cheong Yak Yong and Pak Che Ga collected books and did research. What was the name of this royal library that was also a research institute? Number 13. Kyujangak. Is that right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Jungbin, very good, on a roll, and uh, I guess before I ask what category you want next, can I ask, is there another book or series of books that you really like besides Sherlock Holmes? Oh. What other book do you like besides Sherlock Holmes? Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci Code. The Da Vinci Code, okay, wow. 
All right, what's your choice of category? Who am I? Who am I? Number 17 going for the chance. Number 40 going for it as well. 26 and number 9 and 13. Everybody do it right now. Okay, quick. Now we have another 30 point question, but everybody wants to do it right now. Okay. Let me breathe for a second. All right. Here is the 60 point question. Who am I? I have no voice, but I always talk to people. I can be skinny or chubby, but I am usually shaped like a rectangle. My body is tattooed with letters. Be friends with me and you'll be smart. Number 40. Books. He says books. Is that correct? Yes, it is! Very good job! And just like that, the two leaders are tied. 160 points. Put down that chance. You can only use it once. Bingo! 60 point. Big question. Body tattooed with letters. Yes. Usually a rectangle. Uh huh. Friends with me, you'll be smart. Well, obviously, number 13 is proving that. And you're a smart guy, too. Do you like reading books? Yes. All right. And anything else you like to do? Drawing pictures. Drawing pictures. Fantastic. OK, number 40. Tong Chua, please choose a category. Um, music. Music for 20 points. All right, here we go. This music was used for military exercises or the King's March during the Choson Dynasty period. On June 10, 1971, it became the important intangible cultural asset number 46. It is played with instruments such as Tepyongso, Nabal, and drums. What was this music called? Number 13. No, that's not the answer we wanted. Apparently, it means to play with wind instruments and percussion instruments. Combination of the wind and the percussion, combining them. So that's not the exact answer we wanted. Anybody else want to guess? Three, two, one. Okay, now you're all alive. 13 included. You're all alive. Once again, it uh, became a cultural asset number 46. You heard the instruments. There's the Taepyeong So and the Napal. Now, you said a longer name. It seems to me that the answer has like three syllables. One, two, three in Korean. Five seconds. The answer is... Gechita. <laughs> yeah, number 13. You kind of knew that, didn't you? <laughs> Remember, there's no deductions. If you get the wrong answer, minus 5,000. No. <laughs> minus nothing. So give it a shot. If you think you know the answer, go ahead. Nothing to lose. OK, looking at the points right now, we have number 9 with 110. He's in second place. Number 13, 160. Tied for first. 17, 26 have 100 apiece. Number 40, also tied for first, 160. There are three questions left. 10, 20, and 30 point questions. And that means a lot can happen. Of course, everybody's used their chance, so huge things can happen, but big things can. So who was the last person to choose the category? New number 40? Yes. Okay. Choose a category again. Mm, words. Words. Going for the 20 point question. Words. What word commonly fits in all the blanks? Blank belt. Ever blank. Blank lamb. 
Number 40. Green. Yeah. Green is correct. Green belts, Evergreen and Greenland. Very good. Okay, number 40. You're on a roll right now and you're in the lead. The tie is broken. 10 or 30 points? 10. 10 it is. The category is love. Oh, please give us the question. This flower, a native of Southern Europe and Western Asia, has been grown for 2,000 years. In 1910, an American woman first used this flower to show love and gratitude. In Korea. Number 13. Rose of Sharon. That's not the answer they wanted. Let's continue the hint. In Korea, we use the flower to show our love and gratitude toward our parents and teachers. Nation. Okay, 17. 17 on the board. Very good. Very good. Okay, 17. Hyunshik, tell me, do you have a hobby? Mm, I like uh, paperwork. I, uh, fold pa fold a paper. Oh, like origami, folding papers. Cool. So what kind of things do you make? Mm, uh, mo mobile. Of Mobiles, a star. like hanging things from the ceiling and stuff? Yes. And what kind of shapes? Fish, cars? Uh, star. Stars. Nice. Okay, you're on the board. We have one more point. Now, looking at the board, it looks like it's a battle between 13 and 40 right now because everybody's used their chance. Let's see what happens. We do have tie-breaking questions if it's necessary. Here is the 30-point question, the category, patterns. Look at the following pattern of numbers. What number will A be? Number 13. Six. He says six. If that is correct, his 160 becomes 190. Right now, he's trailing 20 points behind 40. If he's wrong, well, someone else might get it. Number 13. He said six. Is that correct? Yes, it is! Yes, it is! The school champion today! Trailing by 20 and with that 30-point question, stands alone. And you 13 will be standing alone with me on stage very soon. Let's go to the final round! All right, Chongbin, the school champion, you're the last man standing. Yeah. Great job, really great job. Okay, now we know that you like books, uh, Sherlock Holmes, uh, Da Vinci Code. Now this is kind of the, the super kid's code. You need to solve a couple of uh, mysteries, some riddles, in order to get that final word. The final word, once you get that, proves you are the super kid. It's like the stamp, officially, you are the super kid. But you need to get to that last, last point, the last hurdle. So, um, you will choose one of three crossword puzzles. You get hints, you'll solve some of the words. If you don't know it, say pass. And then five seconds, knocked off the clock, you see it tick down, and we'll give you that word. The more words you get, the more letters you'll get on the final word. So, if you get all of the uh, words right in the crossword puzzle, you might have two or three letters in your final word. And then I'll give you some final hints. Hopefully, you'll be a super kid today. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So let's see uh, letters related to the crossword puzzles. R. R's your choice. 
Okay, good luck with the R puzzle. A competition to see who's the fastest. Five seconds. This holds a picture so you can paint comfortably. Easel. You sit at this to write or study. Desk. Swans live on this. Lake. You use this to climb up to the roof. Five seconds. A bird that lives on water and sometimes can't fly. Dog. Often eaten for breakfast with milk. Okay, you can see you have some letters there, and you have the first letter, which is key. C is the first letter, and you have another letter, letter there as well, that L. So I'm gonna give you some hints now that should help you with that final word. That's all you need to be the super kid today. Here are two related words, hints related to that final word. Mathematics. Mathematics. And also, button. Mathematics. Button. These are related to this final word, which obviously begins with a C and has another letter there in the middle. An L. You know what it is? We need to know that final word. It's a long one related to mathematics and button. Thinking about it. Gonna take a guess pretty soon. He likes mysteries. What do you think, Jungbin? Do you have an idea? Okay. We need you to make a guess. You might be right. Just say words. Because you have to have the answer before the end of five seconds. The word is calculator. Calculator, not an easy one. Good job, school champion. Very good job, right guys? How do you feel? He did pretty good, right? Okay, hopefully you had a good time. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah! And what school are you from again? Oh, and don't forget it. Don't forget to come again next week. Bye-bye! Bye! Introducing our prizes for the winners. The Super Kid will receive a notebook computer. The school champion receives a digital camera, while second to fifth place will receive an MP3 player. All contestants will receive a gift certificate from Super Kids. Where are you guys from? Okay, let's get the show started, guys. Well, hopefully she wasn't a composer. <laughs> but. And you're very bright as well. Okay, very good job. The blanks. Individual. Further. How'd you done? We're done.